Silverstone, a good old Silverstone. Round six uh, out of seven. Okay, let's do it then. Practice first. I'm keeping the difficulty at 80 for now. No, oh, I want the practice. Here we go. That's a long truck, so I guess I will need more fuel for it. Um, slicks, what's the temperature? 21 degrees, it's still quite cold. I'm going to keep it like that for now. Foggy. I guess they want to simulate uh, United Kingdom with that. We need to get some temperature into these tyres and warm the brakes. So take it steady on the outlap. Cold tyres. Very cold tires. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. So I know Silverstone very well uh, from games and from real life, but I've never driven Formula C in any game on the track, so there will be some learning curve here. Forty-three degrees uh, rear tires, so it's still super cold. That's why the car uh, is sliding all over the place. All the brakes to 220 degrees below 300 unfortunately and I cannot adjust that in setup in any way in formal C car oh that curve is very dangerous I need to remember to avoid it
the 60 degrees tires, so they get they getting the temps. Just 10 more degrees and we'll be in a good spot. 20 degrees would be perfect. It's sliding even at the higher speeds, where the aero should be doing all the job. After all, it's an open wheel with a quite high aero. Front and rear. And I'm sure it's helping, but the tire temperatures are not helping with keeping that car on the truck. Hard to stop it at this corner. degrees on all tires and I don't seem to be able to put them to 70 where's the where the working ranch starts actually 70 degrees to around 110 2 minutes 13 seconds, still too slow to do anything better than the last place. This is a console, PlayStation 5. Uh, I have a gaming PC, or I had a gaming PC till my uh, GPU burned, and the prices at the moment are too crazy to spend so much money on a GPU. So I bought PlayStation instead. I'll definitely buy a new GPU 
one day once the prices go to something reasonable. But the shortage of them at the moment is just elevating those prices to some ridiculous levels. That car is sliding like crazy, it's so slippery. I managed to warm up the left front tire to some good temp, but the rest are still cold. green, I don't know exactly, uh, 1.2 seconds. Still lost. <laughs> can I go full throttle here? I can. Okay, that's good to know. I think I may be able to go faster in that right hander.
Did it just start raining? Or is it just me? It's so slippery. Two five. Oh my, oh my. And I'm two ten. I'm without chance with them. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I need to reduce the difficulty. I won't be able to do any reasonable battling with them. Uh, exit. One of the strokes. Um, the difficulty is very uneven in that game. So sometimes I can put it at 105 and race competitively with AI. The lower I had to go was 25. It sounds crazy, but 105 and 25. Uh, 25 was at Mount Panorama, Bathurst. That race track, uh, there was the race was there was a four, fourth round of Formula C, and that race was in August. And August is a winter in Australia. It was super cold. The tires were cold, and I was affected. While AI didn't seem to be affected, I had to lower the difficulty to actually survive. I'll go down to 60, but that probably will be still. Still too too high, I guess, based on what times I saw. Um, that's September. September, 23rd of September in UK is bloody cold. 23rd of September. Yeah, it shows 22 degrees racetrack, 16 degrees ambient. That's that's bloody cold in UK. So I won't be able to warm up the styles, I'll be sliding like hell, while AI won't be affected. I don't give myself a lot of chances here with them, uh, without reducing the difficulty. Let's see how it looks like this time. Take it easy on the outlap. That's how cold those tires are. <laughs> Big slider. Well, at least it it warms up tires a little bit. The slides. Oh, really? It 
if I can stay behind them, at least I will know where I'm losing a lot of time in comparison to AI. Sliding like hell. I know, I know, I don't care, it's practice. Same time, or very similar time as last time, but I'm 10th this time. I'm assuming this is only because not every AI driver completed a timed lap. Yeah, I'm 19th already. The guy in front of me is 19th, so I'm comparing myself to the second slowest driver at the moment. That car is sliding so much in that corner. Oh, he's so much faster on straight as well. He just appeared there in my mirror. I think it's my teammate. At least the colors of the car look very similar. If I would try to drive on the curb like that AI driver did, I would be sliding all over the place. No, that's not my teammate. Maybe it is, I don't know.
and I had another big slide. And the tires are still cold. I think I'll have to experiment with those tires pressures for that car offline. Another big slide. And it's not like it's an oversteer because I'm pushing the throttle to maximum. I'm actually going there on a very reasonable throttle and sometimes without it at all, idling. And it is really, really hard to keep it uh, driving straight. Well, I will practice the track offline. I need to work on the setup a little bit. Uh, my, my tires are cold. Uh, I know the track is cold, so that will be a challenge to warm them up. Uh, for now, I will finish that stream. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here and chatting with me. It was a pleasure. And I will see you next time on another stream where I'll be continuing the career of uh, Formula C World Championship on Silverstone. But I need to prepare uh, some good setup. Have a great day all. Have a great weekend. And back to Project Cars uh, career mode. I'm picking up where I finished last time and I finished on the practice to Silverstone. The GP version of the track layout. Um, I have the similar situation I had at the Mount Panorama. So the previous race on Sugo, I had the difficulty set at 80. And uh, on Silverstone, the temperatures are very low. The tires are a huge problem. The car was sliding. I, uh, I had to postpone that race because I did some research. I checked the official Project Cars 2 forum. I found a, a post from one of the developers about the tire pressures, which I'm going to put in the description of this video and in the description of my archive on YouTube. There will be linked to that post, which tells what kind of uh, pressure a driver should aim for for a Formula C car. I configured, I set up the car the way to achieve that, but it didn't help much in terms of lap times. So I had to reduce the difficulty significantly to have any chance with the AI on this racetrack in the Formula C car. So I went from 80 from Sugo to 33 at Silverstone, which sounds crazy, but it is what it is. Um, I'll do just a few laps of practice, maybe like two laps just to uh, get used to it quickly, and then I'll move quickly to qualification and to the race itself. Uh, I may bump it by one to 34, but bumping it by one increase the lap times uh, or decrease the lap times of AI by a whole second around. It's a huge difference. So the difficulty is quite strange when it comes to Formula C. I was jumping between 105, I think, on one of the racetracks, all the way down to 28, I think, on Mount Panorama. Crazy, really crazy. Go, go, go. I did some, uh, I did some reading about Formula C tires, and people uh, complained a lot on the official forums about warming up those tires. That's really hard much impossible. I cannot warm them up on this racetrack. They stay below the 70 degrees, which is pretty much the minimum for the good slick temperature.
they're not they're not gaining the temperature pretty much they're staying at like 29 30 degrees at the moment I probably will be able to bump them and bump it to around 60 60 something maybe and that's how the car behaves it's uh, the aero is set up to maximum and even at those uh, high speed corners it's sliding like crazy it's um, it's a bit little, a bit little looking in my mirrors what's happening behind me he was uh, he was driving over the curb he was attacking it really aggressively so I just didn't want it to be hit by AI which happened before so even if the temperature picks up of the tires the car the car is still uh, Very hard to drive. Slides a lot. Tail, tail happy. It's lacking the grip, and it seems to be a problem on the tracks uh, with a very low uh, track temperature. Which, in this case, uh, I'm talking here about like that is 21 degrees at the moment. The track temperature 16 degrees ambient. So this is just a 10, 10 laps race, uh, this, is, this is of course practice, but the race will be 10 laps long. Uh, this is the second lap of practice and my temps are at between 55 on the warmest tire and 45 on the coldest. So a, a full lap of quite a long track, or lap and a half at that stage wasn't enough to warm them up and uh, even 10 laps will not be enough to warm them up that was fourth gear and that car the rear was escaping actually under me so I had to counter steer And it is a constant fight this car, constant fight for grip. In a high aero Formula car. Of course it's not Formula 1, but still. I'll do one more lap and then I uh, move to the qualification or qualifying session.
so that gave me the first time, which uh, I may actually bump the difficulty by one, which will improve the AI time significantly. Uh, just that one tick uh, gives a lot. I don't know why, but that's how it is in this game. I'm going to skip to end. I won't be doing the practice anymore. I'm going to continue to qualifying. And um, I'm going to exit. I'm going to increase the difficulty by one. Which is still super low, but that's what it is in this truck. Uh, so I'm going to 34, which is like nothing in comparison to other uh, trucks I was racing on. And then I'll start the qualifi qualifying session again. At the same time, I'm watching here a uh, 24 hour of Daytona. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the fuel level. Super foggy, <laughs> I cannot see anything. Who approved that race in those conditions? Well, not a race, quality qualifying session. Oh, he was breaking. That AI driver was braking really hard there. What kind of conditions are those? I doubt that even the qualifying session would go through in conditions like that in real life. They would cancel it straight away. Not even talking about the race. The visibility is like what, 50 meters? 100 maximum? I don't even see the apex of the next corner or apex. It's like a blind driving. Every corner is a blind corner. <laughs> it's just stupid. Of course AI won't be affected and they will be doing the same times as usual. Normally I would be driving here at full throttle, but I cannot see the corners, I cannot see the apex. It's not a big of a problem in the slow corners, but with the fast one, it's ridiculous.
I will be last. I'm pretty sure of that. That car is sliding. So tail happy. Of course they will, why wouldn't they, right? And the whole next lap wasted. But that lap would be horrible anyway, 2 minutes 15 seconds. This is so unrealistic, like this is just to show the, I don't know, engine capabilities of that game or what? Because, no, there is no chance any type of session would be allowed in a conditions like that. Not in today's era of racing. It doesn't matter if GT or if uh, open wheel. That will be two minutes fourteen. A horrible time. Horrible. But I'm not able to drive any faster in these conditions. Even though I know the race truck, cannot see anything. I think I'm losing like what, three seconds per lap to my normal pace.
I wouldn't mind that it would be a multiplayer session because you know every player, every driver would have the same conditions. But with AI, I have no chance whatsoever in the career mode in those conditions. I don't think they care about folk or no folk. <laughs> it only affects me and my perception of, uh, of the truck and what I can see, which is not a lot. That's my last lap anyway. I don't have fuel for more. Two minutes, 13 seconds. I don't have fuel for more, so I can just uh, return to pit box. I should normally just finish it. I wasn't even close. I think at least I'm not last. I have no way of checking that, but I won't even trying. I'm just going to skip to end, uh, continue to the race, and I'll be starting from what? Last or one but last. Uh, let's load the soft tire setup. I mean the slicks. Let's check the fuel level. 20 liters, 11 laps, this should be enough. Uh, I'm going to put one extra. Uh, and let's just start. 10 lapper. Not a bad start. Less fog and during the quali. Horrible starting position, but let's try to gain a few positions here. I'll have outside another corner, which is. Uh... Whoa, don't go in front of me like that! What an idiot! At least I stayed within the track limits all the time, so I didn't have to give any positions, which is uh, sometimes happens. It's half a second in front, half a second behind. Everyone is squeezed at the moment. Interesting, they were quite slow here. I'm fighting for grip, he's just there, right next to me, the right hand side. I'll leave him enough space there, I don't want to have any trouble. Ah, those curves are horrible. But I still managed to gain on him. And I have the advantage of being... Okay. That looks good, that's a fair fight. I'll have the inside to the next left-hander. Okay, good. The position is mine, at least for now. Uh, that's position number seven. 
at that stage of the race, and this is just the third lap, right? No, that's the second lap. <laughs> The rear tires are now cold, 69 and 64 degrees, useless. The front right right one is cold, left one is still warm-ish, but far from the perfect temperature I would like it to be in, or at. Another slow X in their behalf, but it doesn't matter because they, they start pulling away, or at least they getting the same speed. Even though I had a oh, a big slide, big slide, keep it good. Whoa, that was super scary. Hi, mate. How are you? I think you say dude in US, right? Not mate. Mate, it's so British. So hi, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very well. Still watching that 24 hours race, Daytona. But decided to pick up where I finished yesterday, so Silverstone in Formula C. I think I spent like an hour trying to set up that AI to a proper difficulty. I did some, I did some research on tire pressures for Formula C cars. Uh, I found the official post from the developers. Even though I set up the car as advised, I didn't help much with time, lap times, because it's still very cold on the racetrack and it's foggy. So I decided to lower the difficulty to a level where the AI is competitive and it's not pulling away like crazy. And I had to go really low to like 34, I think. And on Sugo I had it on 80 and here I have it on 34. Oh, there was an accident. One of the AIs uh, went south. That's good for me. Great work at third place. I'm gaining some position thanks to that. Okay, I think I, I secured the inside to the next corner. Oh, he's still there. Ah, oh, so slippery. Great driving, that's your fastest final sector so far today. Keep it up.
of outside, I don't think I'll be able to overtake. The car behind almost crashed into me. Whoa! What was that? I'm going to lose the position. Ah, that's fine. We still have six laps. Oh, he made a mistake. Good. Well done. That's second place. Keep digging. How do I have a blue flag if I'm fighting for the P1? Is this game crazy or something? Okay, I'm on P1 now. Oh, I'm back to P2. Are we still fighting? Still there. I have to leave him enough space. But I have an inside here. Oh, he's behind now. Good. Let's be one. Let's try to pull away. Big slider, just a half a second advantage, that's like nothing. One small mistake and they will attack. Big crowd defending from that guy behind. Oh. 
That's the fastest final sector of anybody so far. Nice one. Yeah, no, the, I, I, I like racing games, I love Project Cars 1 and 2, but I wouldn't say I'm great, I'm reasonably good, and there are people who are amazing at those uh, sim racing games. Oh, I miss the apex by a lot. Three more laps. That's like 8 out of 10. Yeah, uh, Mount Panorama buffers is amazing. It's a great truck, uh, but it is a hard truck to drive. Uh, very difficult, very narrow, walls all over the place. But it is an amazing truck, definitely. I think round three, or maybe round two, I don't remember, one of those two, in Formula C was at Mount Panorama. I overtook the first one on the last corner, it was pretty good race.
they're so close behind. Fastest first second you've done so far. Great job. Final. Nine one, a new PB. Final lap, this is the final lap. The guy behind, he's definitely on it. He might try and sneak past in the last sector, but keep pushing it all the way to the line. That slide was very dangerous. If I didn't catch it, it would be end of the race. Uh, I like Brand I like Brands Hatch. It's a really nice track. I haven't done a lot of miles on Red Bull Ring, so I cannot tell a lot about Red Bull Ring. I've, I don't think I'm a big fan of it, but I definitely like Brands Hatch. It's a classic, amazing race track, especially the the GP version. The Indy is a bit too short. Yeah, it's not too short, not too long. Last corner. Oh. That was good race. I'm trying to think what is my favorite track in this game, or generally. Spa, I definitely like Spa. It's a really cool track. Uh, Algarve in Portugal, a really nice track. Laguna Seca, amazing track. Road America is pretty cool as well. Watkins Glen, or Glen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Watkins Glen, right? That's a really cool track. Zonoma, Zonoma Raceway, that's also super cool track. A huge elevation gain. 
blind corners, fast corners, slow corners, really good truck. I don't like Monza. Yeah, is it the one in Formula One? Uh, what's it called? The one which is using Grand Prix of Brazil. Oh, I missed pit lane. I'll stop here and I just escape cooldown. That was barely, barely a win, but it was a win. Okay, the last round is at Laguna Seca. Uh, couldn't be better. Uh, yeah, I'll take a very short break and I'll be back within two minutes and I'll try to continue on Laguna Seca. We'll see how it goes.